All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I love doing this. I just love it. Topper Tuesday. That's right. What are we going to be talking about this week? Well, this is a brand new, fancy, shiny atomizer that everybody's all excited about. I've actually had this for quite a while now. This is the Twisted Messes V2, or as he wants it called, the Twisted Messes Squared. This is a cloud chasing type of atomizer, dripping atomizer. So what we're going to do, as we always do, is go up close to get... Okay, what am I doing? Why am I even talking right now? What we're going to do is go up close as we always do quick short upy closey time <clears throat> all right yeehaw what we have here is the twisted messes version 2 atomizer or the twisted messes squared as he wants it to be called and there's a little bit of a square motif going on you can see up here on these nubbiny bits there's a square right there the airflow is all square but if we look from top to bottom it does have a delrin drip tip that is much smaller and narrower than the twisted pre you know than the previous twisted messes version 1 rda it's held on the inside by internal o-rings right there additionally it does come with a stainless steel version of the drip tip which fits in there the exact same way me personally i much prefer the delrin version to the stainless steel version just for comfort in my mouth so you use this large gear shaped nubbiny top piece you unscrew that this is what keeps your airflow control in place airflow control is external so you can just pop that off and you can kind of see right here that's Three on that side, three on that side, two on that side. So if you were to set it up for a single coil, you would put this in front of your coils and the airflow ring would cover up the other two. When you're adjusting the airflow, there's one slightly weird thing that happens. So you can kind of see right here, I have it set all three are open, right? So I can turn it like this and now I have two airflow holes open and I can turn it like this and I have one airflow hole open and if I keep going past that it starts opening up the single airflow hole right here it starts opening up these right here so just be aware that when you're adjusting your airflow the smallest the least amount of airflow you can have is one square you can't go past that otherwise you start opening up other airflow slots what i do like is the way this fits on here it's nice and tight there's some resistance there it's not just gonna flop around even without the top cap on there it doesn't really move around or flop around you have to physically turn it what i also think is a step in the right direction for the twisted messes rda is there's airflow on this side airflow on this side that's it. On the Twisted Messes version 1, there was external airflow for both dual coil and a single coil. So when you were using it in dual coil mode, on this side over here, which is not there, there would have been holes here that are, you know, they would have been covered up by the inside. Aesthetically, I think it just looks much better with only two airflow slots right there, but you can still rock it like this as a single coil. For some reason, for the single coil, they only included two airflow holes as opposed to three on this side and three on this side. Eh, it's not really a big deal. It's just something to be aware of. Now, I know this is the part that everybody's going to be asking me about. How are the O-rings on the bottom? Well, they're much, much, much better. They're not perfect. I don't think there's any RDA for some reason that is perfect, but they are much, much better. Ugh. Takes a little bit of effort to get those off of there, and even when they become slightly lubricated with juice when you're using it, it still works very well. I've never worried about this, like the Twisted Messes version 1, about it, you know, the top cap coming off in my pocket or anything like that. The O-rings, very nice step in the right direction. Now let's get a good look at that Twisted Messes squared deck. So, it's a two post, but it's a four post as well. So the negative terminal right here is milled into the bottom and the positive terminal, it's squared off on the sides and rounded and that's where your screw right there, that leads right to your five, positive 510 pin. So the positive's over here, the negative's over here. So it's a two post, but you can build it as a four post as well. So let's just say, hypothetically, that you wanna build a coil from this hole to this hole. 
yes, then it would be a two-post deck. Or if you want to build a very centered coil, you want all your leads going from here to here, you can do that as well. You can go from this one to this one, which is what I've been doing. I've been treating this very much like a traditional four-post RDA rather than a two-post RDA, but there's some there's some pretty interesting things I think you could do with this. He did use grub screws on top, but thankfully, you see this right here? This is included in your kit. This makes me hate grub screws a lot, lot less. It's just a tool for screwing and unscrewing them, and best of all, it fits right in my screwdriver. So, I can take my Twisted Messes squared, if I can I do this on camera, goes right in there, screw these down nice and tight, and you can unscrew them nice and easily just comes out there's no sticking there's no stripping sometimes with grub screws what'll happen is I'll, I'll be screwing the leads down and I'll be screwing this down and my allen key will just skip on the inside and I'll strip it out with this I've had no issues this tool that he included honestly is kind of amazing so there you can kind of see a size comparison side by side with the twisted messes version one most of the shortening of the version two comes from the drip tip and you can kind of see right here airflow airflow right there that's what I was talking about earlier that blank space in the outer airflow control ring that just does nothing and looks weird that doesn't exist on the version 2. Another comparison I did want to make to the Twisted Messes version 1 is that airflow control ring. So you can kind of see on the squared on the V2, it takes some effort to actually turn it and pull it off and pop it on. And when you put your airflow where you want it, it stays in place. On the Twisted Messes version 1, this just spun really freely and came off and went down really freely. And there was kind of nothing, no pressure, or anything holding it in place. But on the version 2, on the squared, it's there's actually some resistance. The tolerances seem to be a lot tighter. So you can move it into two airflow and you can you know what I mean? It'll stay there. This isn't going to come off or spin or anything when you don't want it to. So what I'm going to do is throw a quick uh, Fuse Clapton on here. We're going to juice it, wick it, and get it back out to normal view. Actually, we're going to have to wick it before we juice it. You can't juice it before you wick it. So we're going to wick it, then juice it, then get back out to normal view. So I did an 8-wrapped Fuse Clapton. This is 26-gauge core with 38-gauge Clapton over it, around a 2.5-millimeter post. I want to run this on a series box, which, if I'm running it on the Noisy Cricket, that will be just fine. Twisted Messes Squared has a nice protruding 510 pin there. In fact, it's surrounded by peak insulator right there as well for added safety. I have no problems using this on a hybrid mod or the Noisy Cricket, which is a hybrid series box. So like I said, I've been treating this as a four post RDA. I went from the farthest over here to this one right here. This atomizer is just a dream to build on. Nice big post holes, nice wide open deck, nothing claustrophobic about it. Additionally, the inclusion of this tool I think was the best idea ever. I have no problem getting in here, using this tool to really uh, 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 crank down those grub screws. So. Let's speed this up. One coil done. Coil two, pulsing. It has been wicked. It has been juiced and vapors. So yeah, that's the TM squared up close and personal. I switched it over to the black band on there because I don't know, black and black and then the noisy cricket with the black button. I think it all looks very cool. I much prefer, like I said, the Derlin, Derlin, Delrin drip tip on there as opposed to the stainless steel drip tip. He also includes a little adapter so you can use your own drip tips on there. Overall, this atomizer is really well made. It's a great, great next step from the Twisted Messes version one. It's got a unique deck. It's like that two post, four post kind of thing going on there. I can build it like a four post, but you could probably get creative in there and go on the far outsides or the far insides or build it like a four post and do one in the middle and one on the side or I don't know. I don't know. Get creative. What I do love most isn't even this atomizer. It's this little tool that he included that I think is just 
amazing. If I had had these on all the other atomizers that I complained about the grub screws, I might not have complained as much. It's really easy. I love that I can just stick this on my screwdriver and really just crank those grub screws down and not worry about stripping them or having your tool get stuck in there, which happens nine times out of 10. It's just a really nice addition. It makes the building experience overall on the Twisted Messes version two so much easier and so much better. Now, if you want airflow, the TM squared has it just in spades. Full open, let's move it to full open right now. We're gonna open all three airflow squares. I'm gonna realign it with my coils. It's just a lot, a lot of airflow. Not like phenotype airflow, but a lot of airflow. More airflow than me personally I would ever use. But the clouds, bro, the clouds. So what I like to do is I like to turn it down to just two little squares open. That's a great amount of airflow for me. When you crank this little top gear wheelie part down, it really holds that airflow in place. And the O-rings on the bottom, well done. They are a lot better. I have no problem just holding this like this, waving it around, it stays on there. I mean, it stays on there great. You have to give it a little bit of a uh, to kind of get it off, to see your deck, to get in there. Two O-rings on the bottom, and they pack in extra O-rings, extra screws, the two different drip tips, the two different color sleeves. I'm assuming that he's gonna do a mountain of colors in the different sleeves and have a matchy drip tip with a matchy sleeve. Now this is far from being like a perfect atomizer. I have two eh, slight gripes with this atomizer. The top O-rings that hold in your drip tip, not super strong. He moved from the bottom O-rings to the top O-rings. The top O-rings, not super strong. It fits in there. It holds your drip tip in there fine. If I hold the whole mod, uh, it kind of pops out a little bit. Now, that's really neither here nor there. When I'm vaping it, even if I grip it with my lips, which sounds dirtier than it is, but even if I grip it with my lips, you'd be challenged to try to pull this drip tip out with your lips. I, wonder, I could do it with my teeth, but in your day-to-day -day vaping, I don't think it's really gonna be an issue for you. The other thing that's slightly weird is the airflow on the outer airflow control ring has three squares, right? And in between the three squares are like these little teeth that kind of come down from the top and bottom. Very rarely, not often, but sometimes very rarely, my cotton will get like hooked on that little tooth like if I'm pulling my cap off it'll like whoop like yank my cotton out additionally they're little tiny metal things I'm not super convinced they're a hundred percent really like very durable I feel like they're fine for now but if one of those like if you drop your RDA and one of those little tiny little teeth tangs like gets bent in or bent out eh, you could probably run into some issues so are you going to need your vape budget hands for this Beh. A little bit. So the Twisted Messes version two, Twisted Messes squared as he wants everybody to call it, it's gonna be about 70 bucks. Now these just came out on Friday, so that price is probably gonna stick around for a while. 70 bucks, I don't know, 70 bucks, right? That's on the higher end of the RDA world, but not completely unreasonable. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game, Let's play the alien game, Ken. Aliens come down, steal all of my vape stuff. Is the Twisted Messes version two something I would seek out and buy? Yeah, I think I would. I really have enjoyed it. I really like the quality of vape that I get from it. I really like the deck. Everything seems really well thought out and really well put together. With the two airflow holes, open, not three, but two airflow holes open, it's a damn near perfect airflow for me. It's a very nice mix of just clouds, bro, clouds, and some really, really nice flavor. I'm vaping Epiclouds Donut Pounder in here. I've been vaping this juice, not even joking, for years, and I know exactly how it should taste. This is how it should taste.
I'm going to wrap this up, but in the end, yeah, the decision is yours to make. I'll post a link in the description to where you can check it out if you're so interested. As for me, I've been having a great time with the Twisted Messes Squared. I really like the deck. I like thinking about what builds I could possibly put on there. Additionally, I just really like the vape experience that this is giving me right now. The .35 dual fuse Claptons on a series box. Ugh. It's just great. Forget about it. It's just a great vape. But I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. That's enough. With the two... Fl <sighs> vape capital.